Hello again, I hope you're all good. In the comments to my previous video where I was swatching out my Perylene Maroon watercolours, I had a few people mention Perylene Violet to me. Now it's not really a colour I've paid much attention to in the past, as violets are not really my thing. So I thought I'd take some time today to swatch a few of them side by side. So first we have Daniel Smith Perylene Violet. Uh, it's made from PV29, as are uh, all of them here. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. Um, I do know that it's not going to dry like this. It's going to look quite different, um, as Perylene watercolours tend to have quite a big drying shift. Yeah, it really is nice though. Okay, next we have Schmincke Horridam Perylene Violet. I think this one looks quite a bit redder than the Daniel Smith. Though I can't actually compare them properly until they're dry though. Yeah, I do think I prefer the Daniel Smith, actually. I think this one might be too red. Yeah, nice paint to paint out, but yeah, I, I don't know, the colour's a bit weird. And the final paint here is White Knight's Perylene Violet. Okay, this one seems a bit closer to the hue of the Daniel Smith. Um, it's definitely not as red as the Schmincke. I think I remember the Schmincke Perylene Maroon being redder than the others as well. It's weird that Schmincke decides to do that with these. Yeah, the White Knights is lovely though. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are in daylight when completely dry. Mm, so what do you think? Uh, like I said when I was swatching it out, the Schmincke is much redder than the other two. Uh, it's not really what I'd expect from a Perylene Violet. It is a beautiful colour though. Uh, the Daniel Smith is more what I'd expect. It's kind of dried to that uh, dull, almost brownish violet I guess yeah it's a really nice paint I think it's my favorite here uh, the White Knights is somewhere in between the Schmincke and Daniel Smith again it's an excellent paint and definitely a good cheaper option um, the only other brand I've tried at this pigment is Windsor & Newton um, I seem to remember that one being somewhere more like the Daniel Smith and White Knights So as always, I'd be interested to hear any other brands of Perylene Violet you recommend. And I'd also be interested to hear how you use this pigment in your paintings. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.